The earth is a lovely and more or less placid place. Things change, but slowly. You can lead a full life and never encounter anything in the way of a natural catastrophe more violent than a storm. And so we become complacent, relaxed, unconcerned. But in the history of the solar system, and even in human history, there are clear records of extraordinary and devastating catastrophes. We humans have now achieved the dubious distinction of being able to make our own major catastrophes, both intentional and inadvertent. On the landscapes of other planets, where the records of the past are better preserved, there is abundant evidence of major catastrophes. It's all a matter of time scale. An event which is improbable in a hundred years may be inevitable in a hundred million. But even on the Earth in this century, there have been bizarre natural events. In remote central Siberia, there was a time when the Tungus people told strange tales of a giant fireball that split the sky and shook the earth. They told of a blast of searing wind that knocked down people and whole forests. It happened, they said, on a summer's morning in the year 1908. In the late 1920s, L.A. Kulik, a Soviet scientist, organized expeditions to try and solve the mystery. He built boats to penetrate this trackless land, snowbound in winter, a swampy morass in summer. Eyewitnesses told of a ball of flame larger than the sun that had blazed across the sky twenty years before. Kulik assumed a giant meteorite had struck the earth. He expected to find an enormous impact crater and rare meteorite fragments chipped off some distant asteroid. However, at ground zero, Kulik found upright trees stripped of their branches, but not a trace of the meteorite or its impact crater. He was deeply puzzled. But he thought perhaps there were meteorite fragments buried in the swampy ground. So he set about digging trenches and pumping out the water, but the expected meteoritic rock and iron was nowhere to be found. Undaunted, Kulik went on to make a thorough survey, despite the swarms of insects and other hardships, because he had discovered something that, in his own words, exceeded all the tales of the eyewitnesses and my wildest expectations. For more than 20 kilometers in every direction from ground zero, the trees were flattened radially outward like broken matchsticks.